Who's ready to learn how to create a monthly market update video step by step? Today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. This is the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. And now your hosts, Jan O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost WBNL podcast where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 197. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jen O'Brien, we talk about a newsletter a lot, don't we? <laughs> um, well, we, we talk about a newsletter, but today it's about how to create the main piece of the newsletter, right? Exactly. Is that what you're saying? The, exactly. How to, make, how to make the thing that's dynamic about the newsletter, which is a video that you do that's about your local market. That's what we wanted to cover. And we broke it down into a 11 easy steps. <laughs> because you know what? That's just the number everyone's looking for, right? 11? Well, it's 11 it's steps. basically a checklist. We're gonna, well, what, we're, what we're sharing today is exactly how we do it. Exactly how we do it. The tools that we use step by step. So now, oh, wow, you even updated that. So how took to make the market, out. Who how took to the make a market out. update Ooh. video, all right? So we're ready to dive in, Mr. Emerson. And this is part one, and we're also going to, Matt's going to show you, I'm going to walk you through how to do it. Matt is going to show you how to, to uh, create the graphics in Canva. So I want to show you how to make a market update video. I'm going to walk you through my process step by step, showing you the exact tools, everything that I use that I do once a month, and even the time frame, all of it. So let's jump in and let me show you what, what we do with the very first step. And the easiest, I, I like to work on the local stats first. So I go to my local monthly stats, which are in my MLS, okay, in Matrix. We use Matrix. I, I'm in two associations, right? I'm in Nevada and in Florida. That's right. Both the local association and the state association in Florida. Between all of that, I find all the stats that I need for the previous month. I'm reporting monthly stats for the previous month. Now, what I just did recently, since we're now into January 2022, can't get January stats until February. So when you, what you do in January, and it's a, if you've never done this before, it's a perfect place to start because what you can do is get not only the, the stats for December, you could do, and this is what I just did, you can do an analysis of what of some key things that happened in 2021 for your first market update video. So it's pretty cool because you have to wait till February to get the January stats. Then you can continue on with some things I'm going to show you today. Now, if you're watching on, over at YouTube or on our video, there's a screenshot here of the housing snapshot. This isn't a report that the Las Vegas Realtors does. I have the same thing for Florida Realtors, which is the key stats that I want. This is really all I want in here. And what's in here is for single family and condos. You can decide if you're going to report on both. I like to focus on single family. This year, I'm going to also talk about condos because I feel like they've become the new affordable home. Absolutely. Okay? So I have things like units sold and then the median sales price. And then there's always, how is that compared to year over year or month over month? So the stats I get say, for example, 3,178 homes were sold single family in the Las Vegas area. Uh, 425,000 was the median sales price in December. And that is literally up like 23%. It's nuts. So I get that. What are the new listings and the month supply and the available uh, inventory for that month? Those are the things I report on. Because I like that. That's what I think is easy to, to cover. Now, the other thing that I do on step one is uh, we're, we're adding this. This is not something that I did last year in Vegas. I have been doing it in Florida. I use the MLS stats. I think in every MLS, you can simply go in and pull up like a city. So maybe in our team in Vegas, we have people who specialize in Summerlin, Master Plan, Pahrump, which is a city. And you can pull the stats up for the month or the year, whatever time frame. And there's always a little stats figure. Uh, I've seen it in every MLS I've ever looked at that lets you create a cool graph or a chart yeah. for it. There, It's so easy to get the stats, guys. If you're like, I don't know how to do all that, I'm telling you, go talk to your broker, call your MLS, call your association, and go take a class on this. And you'll be like, holy crap, I didn't know all these stats were available for me. That's step one. Get that process down and then have it as a routine. I do this on the 10th or 11th of the month. I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, you generally need the 10th to the 15th because your association may take the first two weeks to be able to put out the stats for the previous month. Okay. Right. All right. So that's number one. 
get your local stats. Number two, we created a, a uh, graph in, not a graph, it's actually just a, a Google sheet. You could use Excel, which then the data can turn into a graph. And so in number two, one of the things you want to do, because it's so cool to, to do this, is to start tracking from January right now, all the way through the year, every month, what's the median sales price for your area? What's the median sales price maybe for single family and for condos? And then what you can do is easily graph it and start comparing that month over a month. So what's really cool for the, the video I did this month is I have the whole tracking for month over month comparisons. Actually, I could add that uh, to say how much more that is up. That's actually something I should do. I didn't think about that. But it's a story enough to say in Vegas, for example, we went from a 325 median sales price in January. I think it's 345 actually. 345 to 425 in December. That is an $80,000 equity gain, a home price appreciation gain on median. The average, the average homeowner had that much gain. It's crazy. That's why this is so important. To get, it's so important to get this information out right now because the story is so freaking good, right? So if you're going to be doing this consistently at some point, this is going to start going the other direction, which is still a story, right? But oh my God, right now it's phenomenal. So, you know, you might be able to figure out uh, in, in Excel or Sheets how to label everything. But what we do is we take it the, the screenshot of the graph that you create from the, the table that you set up. Right. And right now it's just median sales price. That's the only thing I really want to track. And then we grab it and go put it into Canva. Matt's going to show you how to do that. He'll show you how to uh, separately, how to create the graphics that, that go with this. Okay. Yeah. So, and we do that. We do it that way because it just makes the visual look better when you're actually putting your presentation together. You it does, can you have do some more availability yeah. with things that you can do. And then you can exactly. just keep building on it each month. A little more so flexibility. Right. He'll show you that. All right. So that's number two. Now, number three is keeping current matters. This is the secret sauce Always. for my videos. You, you could stop right there. Just do a local market update. But if you really want to take your market update to the next level, get the Keeping Current Matters subscription. You can get you can get a 14 day free trial. We have a little link if you uh, sign up through our affiliate link. We basically get a month free. You get a gift card for 25 bucks. That's one of the things they do. That's it is the card. best investment you're going to make. In addition to blog posts and social media infographics and all these other things that you can do for your business, the powerful thing is the monthly market update that David Childers does. I watch it. It comes out on the 10th of every month. I watch it. I grab the slides that I want to use. I don't use all the slides. I grab the slides that I think tell the story I want to say. The other thing that's so brilliant is you can watch that video, take your notes. You can download the transcript. You can take the audio file and listen to it so you're comfortable saying what he's doing is he's doing a market update to us, the professionals to say, here's what your clients need to know. Here's what you should be telling people. Here's what's happening with trends and forecasts. Here's what all the experts are saying about what's happening with house prices, appreciation this year, interest rates, what's happening with foreclosures. You get all that data and you get the cool charts that you can download and put into your presentation. That's step three. That's what I do next. And then cool, I go to yeah. step four. And in step four, what I do is update the uh, market, the slide deck that we created in Canva, that Matt created in Canva for me. And I've been using it for a year. Yeah. And it is, uh, all, it, all we do is just put the new images in. There's a flow to it. There's an intro slide. There is, I always like to say, here's what I'm going to cover. It helps me when I go do the recording. Here's my topics for today for this. Welcome back to the monthly market update for January. I don't introduce myself right away. In a video, you want to put the hook in. This is what we're going to cover in this video. Stay and watch. And I'm going to tell you about mortgage interest rates and what's happening and what kind of market we're in and give you the local stats. And then, hi, it's me. And this is who I am. Then I do the presentation. And uh, uh, that's how the thing is set up. And then there's a call to action at the end. Okay, so you create your slide deck one time. And every month, all you do is swap out the slides. That takes me about 15 minutes. Then I'm on to number five. Now I've got everything ready. I also have to put in there. Matt's going to show you how to do all that um, separately. So you, you, the slides are easy to create and drag and drop the images. And then you're ready to rock and roll. But I do need to put those couple local. I put the local graphs in. 
and then also the ones I get from the National Housing from Keeping Current Matters. Then I use Loom, L-O-O-M. If you don't use this already, oh my God, you are missing out. If you are a Google Chrome user, it's a free extension. If you're going to use it a lot, you'll have to pay for it. I think it lets you have about uh, 10 videos or something. Yeah, maybe not too many if you're going to be doing these on a frequent basis. Yeah, so if you're going to do it all the time, it's not that expensive. It may cost you like, I don't know, $90 a year or something. Well worth it. And then what happens is the video is actually stored inside of there, but you're, you're going to need to put it on YouTube anyway. But what it allows you to do is record your screen, record you like a little circle. There's three sizes of the circle that have you. You can move your little image with your circle anywhere you want. I basically go into Canva, turn the loom. There's a little icon that goes up in your Chrome. It turns it on. You make sure the settings are right and you record yourself. When you're done with that, then you go on to number six. So I just record my slide deck. I practice it. I know what I'm going to say. Step six is edit the video. Now, I generally need to edit the beginning. I've been doing so many videos. The beautiful thing about this is if you screw up, start over. If you don't yeah. want to edit it, right? We're talking about maybe an eight to 10 minute video if you do it like I do. Um, but I always have to cut off the first 10, 20 seconds because it's me setting up Loom, moving my picture out of the way, collapsing down a couple things, getting it the way I like, and then starting. Now, what's cool in Loom, they added a simple trimming tool. You don't have to do any kind of crazy editing. It's so easy. You hit the, you hit the little scissors. It pulls up this editing thing. You can slide it to where you begin, and then you sh save it. Voila, you have a a video ready to rock and roll and go on YouTube. Now, if you're really into editing, you can download it in the video and go put it into another editor and do whatever you want to it or have somebody else do that for you if you're trying to make it look cooler. Frankly, I think it's perfect the way it is. Then number seven, you, you take that final edited video and you put it on YouTube. You need a YouTube channel. This is one of the pieces of content that you can consistently do that will start helping you build out your YouTube channel. Plus you need the it to be housed somewhere and you might as well house it on YouTube where people can find you because we're going to do some other things with the link. So don't forget in YouTube, you've got to make sure you have a cool title. My title always is going to say Las Vegas real estate market report or real estate report January, 2022. It's got to make sure you have the date, the month and the date and lead with your city. Keep that consistent. Put your description in there. I kind of put some of the, the same content I'm going to put in my newsletter in there, that the stats are in there, and uh, I put all the right tags in. That's your SEO little bonus tip so people can find it. And then number eight, write a blog post with your video and the monthly stats. I basically get all this content from the articles that the associations publish every month, recaps of the stats, put my own spin on it. Now I have a blog post and you might say, why are you creating a blog post or a page on your website that has all this data? I'm going to tell you why. And that's in number nine. Now in number nine, you're going to, you're going to get that blog post done because I'll come back to that. And in number nine, you're going to create your monthly newsletter um, with all the content. Now, now you've recorded your video, you, we're not going to go through how to do a newsletter here because guess what? We have a video on how to create a newsletter from the, the newsletter that we're kind of showing you right here. Go right over there. We'll put a little link to it at the top here. Yeah, right on. So that is Matt and I walking you through completely how we do this newsletter in, in our CRM. Um, you could use MailChimp or Constant Contact. And then you're going to send it out to your completely to your database. I'm going to share this really quick, Matt. Matt, um, Can you pop, that, uh, you pop yep. that one up and let's just scroll through that. And I have it. Um, so I, for those of you that are watching on YouTube, I'm just scrolling through the whole newsletter just so you could, we had a little bit of a screenshot. So it has a header. It Right at the top, it's where the video thumbnail is for people to click, the stats, the charts that I want to pull out. We, we do a lot of YouTube video in Vegas, so we spotlight a couple other videos. And then I might you know have another infographic or something in here or an article of interest. And 100% all of that comes from other places. Okay. Not, I mean, it's like keeping current matters, blog posts or something interesting that was in there. Now, what I am committed to doing moving forward in the new year, Matt, especially here in, in Florida where I'm living is to do the newsletter to add a local business spotlight. Smart. Okay? Now I'm, I'm, we're not showing you how to create that newsletter. Go watch that other video, but this newsletter I'm spending a second on it is the key to everything. If a newsletter is local, 
has your information in it, a video or two that you're okay. doing, this market update, talking to people about what's happening in your area, and you send it out consistently, it really helps you become that local market expert. It's huge. Okay. So now you're going to send your newsletter out. Now we're on to number 10, two more steps. Two, three days later, what I want you to do is grab the link to your blog post, or if you created a page where you kind of reproduced everything you put in your newsletter online somewhere. Um, now, if you use something like MailChimp, it creates an archive and a little link that you could actually send people to. But the whole point is not everybody opens up their email. That's right. And what I find is when we, uh, we have used MailChimp, we have used every CRM known to real estate. <laughs> um, no matter how good you are, how good the CRM is, stuff goes to people's spam. And then everybody reads their email. I mean, Matt, on our newsletter at WBNL, what, what kind of open rates do we get? I mean, uh, well, up, up to 33%, actually. Very high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 20% at 50? No, 25 to 33. We have a few 33s just recently. So Wow. Okay. Yeah. That is off the charts. You're lucky if you can get 10 or 15% of people to open your, your email. So this is what you do. You, if you take that extra step that I mentioned a minute ago, or a couple steps back, now you send a newsletter. Now you get a, now to be able to do this, you need a CRM that allows you to do group text. Otherwise, this will take you forever. So this step is for you CRM users that have the mass texting availability, which a majority of the really good CRMs have this. Everything from LionDesk to uh, KB Core we used to use has it to the one we're using now uh, in, in Vegas, uh, Go High Level, which I really like it, um, is great. So anyway, you basically go, hey, everybody, in case you missed the newsletter, I emailed, here's a copy of it. Here, Click to go get the market update for January 2022 and everything else, whatever. A quick one-time email, I mean text, that you send out. People may more likely click on that. Now they're driving to your website. Why I think it should be on your website is you're driving people back to your website where maybe there's other information about what their home is worth or whatever else you want to share, and that's what you do. And then the last tip here, and all of this is creating a ton of content for you. If you just do this one thing, this market update, you created a newsletter. Yes, you got to get some more content other than just the market update. Now you're sending a text and you're connecting with your people monthly. Everybody in your database that has a cell, you need to send the text to them. And then you have content to put on social media. You could post the video on whatever your other social channels are. You could break the things down that are in your newsletter, I mean, in your slide deck, and just pick one chart out. You could have seven to 10 days of content every month just because you do this extra step. Take it a step further and do a couple one minute videos. Those could be in reels on Instagram or That's Facebook right. or do a live or whatever. And you're just gonna say, I'm just gonna talk about interest rates because I always have stuff about interest rates, uh, national stats. You could just take what's happening in your area. You could take a city that you're focusing on and just have the stats for that. You have so much content just by doing this one thing. So you know, it's funny because it we've been, we said our, our uh, motto for 2022 is going to be keep it simple, right? Do, you know, really hone it down and, and, and focus. This is the perfect thing because if you, not only are you becoming the local real estate market expert, right? Because you know the stats in the area and all the areas that you're working in. Um, but you can do, like Jan just said, you can do one thing and turn it into a plethora of the different things that you can put all over the place. So it is an awesome. I mean, I love it, right? I mean, this Absolutely. is one simple strategy to follow like clockwork schedule it for to do it by the 15th of every month as soon as the materials come available and knock it out that's always my goal get it done by the 15th because here's and the deal it's also information that people want for crying out loud yes. this is this is stuff they really want to pay attention to. put it in your calendar get it done check the show notes out we've got uh, a link to our show notes where uh, below, below the video here or if you're listening go to our show notes over at wbnlcoaching.com Go to the podcast or go to WBNL podcast and step by step, all that stuff is up there for you. Okay. Yeah, good stuff, John O'Brien. Awesome. I just do it. Can you just do it? Trust me on this. <laughs> just do it. Can't make, you know, it's easier said than done, I know, but just make a commitment that you're going to do a newsletter and a market update. We, we've just shown you today how to do the market update. Watch our other video to how to do a newsletter and make it happen. Let Sweet. this be the year that you have a newsletter. 
All right, in that last segment, we talked about how all the different 11 steps to get your video uh, created and how to where to pull all the information from. Now we're going to jump into Canva, and I'm going to show you how to create some of those presentations, create the slides, put the put the whole presentation together, and some of the ticks and trips. Ticks? No, not ticks. That would be a very scary animal that gets on you and sucks your blood out. No, yeah. the tips and tricks to making your um, video. Before we get to actually building out the entire slide deck for the market update, I do want us to jump back in on step number two of Jan's video where we talked about creating the median sales price graph. There's a lot of different ways you can actually do this and you can actually build graphs in Canva, but I don't really find the functionality of that to be all that great. So what we decided to be the best functionality for us was actually to build a graph in Google um, Google Sheets. Now you could use PowerPoint, not PowerPoint, you could use Excel if you wanted to to do this too. Just use whatever's going to be the easiest um, program for you. We're in Google Drive all the time, so Sheets was the best um, best way for us to do that. This is what the slide will start looking like. The bottom picture here is what the slide looks like um, uh, when we get it done actually in the, in the slide deck. But to get that done first, let's go up to uh, Google Sheets here and I'll show you how easy it is to, to do this. So here we are in Google Sheets. Uh, we keep one spreadsheet and we just build on this month by month throughout the year. This is the 2021 stats. We started this way back uh, in the middle of the year and we have been growing it every year because every month in the monthly update you're showing the entire progress for that particular year. It works like anything else. You put all the data into the spreadsheet and then you just build the graph right there. You can change the color of the graph to match your uh, branding and uh, bing, bing, boom, you're done here. What we do from this point though is we take a screenshot of this actual graph and then I pull that screenshot into Canva. The third step that Jan talked about was the stats from Keeping Current Matters. Now I really, Jan talks about this all the time, we are big, big advocates and users of Keeping Current Matters. The data that they give to you is out of this world. It's already done for you and this will give the larger snapshot of what's happening across the United States. The other graph that we just talked about a moment ago is your local stats, right? But this adds the uh, just the extra power of what's going on going on around the nation as well. These are the stats that a lot of people are probably hearing, in, you know, in the news. So go over to Keeping Current Matters, check those graphs out, get them prepped up. Those are the ones you're going to be needing to, to to refresh your market video every single month. Okay, step number four was to create and update your slides in Canva. So, you know, once you have this built, you can just update it really easily. Jan said it takes her about 10 minutes every month just to actually put the new slides in once you have your base of the presentation done. So now let's jump into Canva and start building out the slide deck. As always, we start at the dashboard here in Canva. We'll click on presentations. Once again, as always, you're going to find there are thousands and thousands of templates that you can start from. Go through these templates and see if there's one that you actually want us to, you know, just jump in and start utilizing. Now, remember, you're not you're not building it. You're building a presentation that's primarily going to be statistics. It's going to be just screenshots of statistics. So this doesn't really have to be super fancy because the data is what people are coming to this presentation for in the first place. So you can look through these templates. You can build something on your own. I am going to uh, provide you a link to actually use the template that we use. And so let's just jump over to that. So this is the template that we use for Jan. We created this very simple, simple template that she's able to update on a monthly basis. Um, for this particular template, we pulled in, this is for her Tampa Gulf Coast uh, monthly update. Uh, we pulled in the colors of her company, which is Celtic Realty there in Dunedin, Florida. And, um, you know, which is got their little kind of Celtic feel to it. The emerald greens, the golds, the, the maroons. You know, you can change this to whatever you want to. One thing I did want to show you, a little, a little trick in this area, is you can see we have the map behind here. I think that's, you know, it's a great way to kind of focus your your um, viewer in on where they are. There is a super easy way to actually add a map into um, uh, to Canva uh, using um, one of their uh, little apps here. If you go over there and you click the dot, dot, dots more at the very bottom of the page, you're going to see a place over here called Google Maps. If you just type in um, or click on that, you type in Tampa. Click on that. It's going to bring up a map of Tampa and you can just pull that right on in here. You can get really granular right down into a particular market area that you might want to go into. I put that in the back of there. I put a layer on top of it, that green layer, just to kind of, you know, you know, put the map in the background. It'll make the user be familiar about where they are. 
Okay, as we quickly move down the rest of the presentation here, we have an intro slide. Very important to have that. Many of your users might not be people that have been watching your monthly update every month, so you want to have it in there and introduce yourself quickly. Uh, good to have an agenda slide. That way you will let the user know what to expect out of the video that they are about to watch. And then you jump in and start getting your statistics. So this particular set here, Jan pulled from the MLS. Just change the title up here, throw in the most current stat. Okay, this is something that I think is just really super important to kind of figure out what stats you actually want to show to your, your consumer. You know, we landed on these. It's always great to show year over year, quarter over quarter, month over month, whatever's going to tell the best story. Right now, year over year stats are off the charts great. I dare you to find me a single place in the United States that's not showing a great gain uh, of, you know, tens of thousands of dollars um, uh, over year over year. So it's a great stat to put in there right now. I'm going to show you a little trick with this particular slide in just a few minutes. We keep on scrolling down here. Here is that uh, the Excel spreadsheet, or excuse me, the Google Sheets uh, graph that we talked about a little bit ago. So let's go in here and just, just show you how easy it is. If you have all of your stuff prepped, you see I'm in my uploads right now. I've uploaded that particular um, graph along with a lot of the graphs from, and charts from Keeping Current Matters. So this the reason why we do it the w this way as opposed to doing all of the numbers and everything in the sheets is that way you can really kind of make these any any way you want to. Every single one of our um, sales price here are a separate te text box. The months are too because this will grow as the year goes on. The January and February you might just have a couple charts up, or a couple of graphs up here or you're showing the graphs from the previous um, year up here whatever it's just a little bit more flexible and you can do more with it if you just build it like this or we have found that to be the case so all we do every month upload the the screenshot which is just the blank screen you know bare graph put it back here behind our uh, our text boxes that are here and just throw it right on into the video which make or into the uh, presentation which makes it super easy uh, to do on a monthly basis same thing with the keeping current matters graphs so this is from our last video let's put in a new heading there let's just move these down a little bit because that heading's a little bit larger we're going to throw in some different statistics so once you've done your homework on this it's super easy just to update the actual chart so you are ready to record now simple as that right <laughs> super simple there's there's not a lot to this it's about getting your bones and your actual template all set and ready to go and then every month you're just able to go in and update it as you do and we have a closing slide as well right contact gets sends you back to the right place driving them either to your youtube page uh, or to your social media website wherever you um, want to drive your agents or your excuse me your clients in the call to action there at the very end now i want to jump in here now and show you how you can actually turn one of these slides or at least the information on one of these slides into a marketing piece this year it's all about keeping it as simple as possible choose a couple things and do them really well the great thing about this market update video and your newsletter and all of this is that you can do one thing really research the stats and you can use it so many different ways right so we've already talked about some of those ways but here's another way that you can actually take the same same information and get the information out again in a different format to your uh, clients once again it's using all the same stuff just repurposing in a different way. Now we have found, surprisingly enough, that postcards work. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people will think that's old school, but let me tell you something. It, people do not get as much mail as they used to because everyone has gone away from mail. You don't even get as much junk mail as you used to. At least I don't. Um, so postcards are work. Jan has been extremely successful over the last quarter of the year sending out postcards to non-owner occupied. Um, just giving them an idea of what their homes are are worth and how much they have increased over in value a uh, year over year or month over month or whatever like I said earlier the stat that you want to do so getting back to this slide that we built think about what you want to communicate and then let's turn this into a postcard now I don't mean turn this exact same uh, you know slide into a postcard but look at the look and feel you want everything to be very consistent obviously in your branding so what we did is we took this information 
and we built out a postcard for the area that she's working in and um, using the stats really 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 bringing home to those out of you know those non-owner owner occupies or out-of-state owners <clears throat> how much appreciation there has been in the last year so we put this piece together once again you know we pulled in the map using that map feature in Canva uh, played around with all of the information on this page and then we built a back page to it as well now this can do a bunch of different things the CTA on here in this particular case, we have a call to action back to the website page that has the monthly market report. So if they are not in the loop with your, your market report that goes out on a monthly basis, you've now given them information about their property and how great the, um, the home appreciation is. But now you're going to give them a QR code code. QR code to get back to uh, the newsletter and hopefully they will come back to that, subscribe to it and get on your mailing list there. So another way to kind of loop them all back around, the, the circle is complete. As a reminder, you can build QR codes right here in Canva. Um, all you need to go is once again down to the dot, dot, dot more, go up to QR code, enter the QR code into um, the uh, the text box there, hit generate code, and this actual code will just pop on up and you can just resize it and drag it right on into your design. So once again, you are, you know, you, you can repurpose these ideas and these designs across many, many different platforms, a lot of different ways to get your word out um, to the clients. So we'll put a link to this template as well. You can use it as your, your starting place and then you can jump off and do whatever you want to that too. One more thing before we wrap up, I wanted to talk about step number five uh, in you know creating your own uh, marketing update video was to re actually record your video. Uh, Jan always uses Loom. It's a Google Chrome extension, fantastic tool. I've used it myself. It really works out really, uh, really great. However, you can do the recording right in Canva if you'd like to. Um, so all you need to do is go up to the top menu this time, up to the dot, dot, dots, click on that, go to present and record. Then you go right to the recording studio. You'll be able to check your camera and your microphone levels. Uh, and then you just go ahead and record your video and then you are done. One stop shop for getting your uh, video designed and your template all ready to go and recording all in Canva. We love it. Now, if you're not a Canva user, go to the link in the description below and sign up today. And that's it. The hardest part of this process is setting up your original template. It's going to take you some time to figure out exactly what you want it to look like, what you want the layout to be. But once you have that done, it is going to be an easy breezy thing for you to update every single month. And what a great, consistent, value-packed marketing piece you're going to be able to send out to your clients and friends. Okay, Matt, cool. That is awesome showing everybody how easy it is to create the, the deck and stuff in Canva. Now, I know... I say easy. The hard work comes from setting the template up the way you want it. But once That's you right. get that template, that slide deck, the way you want it, branded and everything Matt's shown you, now all you do. So Matt did that for me. Uh, that's how we work. And then I just go in each month and grab the slides that I talked about earlier and I pop them in, fix it up. It takes me like 10 minutes to get that deck ready. And then I go record it. And I love that you shared with everybody that I forgot that you could even record in in um, and Canva if you have the upgrade, right? You need the upgraded Canva. Yeah, you need the that. pro. Need pro for that, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I, I prefer it, using Loom. I'm just used to it now. And but that's hey, stick offer. hey, stick whatever is the easiest and you you know the best. And that way you'll get it done. <laughs> don't don't throw in a whole nother learning curve into your your game there. Um, but Canva, you know, we love Canva and we use it all the time. And it's one of those programs that's super flexible and you can you know there's so many features in there that they are adding all the time too so uh right. awesome well good stuff jan o'brien i'm telling you i i love the fact that we if there's one thing we are consistent on it's it's the monthly update whether it be in your newsletter I well, and video yep right <laughs> all right so the good start to 2022 all right everybody get out there and do it that's what i'm, I'm challenging you make it happen don't right. overthink it just do it live the life you've dreamed and be forever wandering but not lost <laughs>